Hey, good morning. From the One Year Bible today, it shows these two verses out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It's verses 2 and 3. It says, we reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all who are honest know this. If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it's hidden only from people who are perishing. Of course God wants us to reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. I mean, that just kind of seems like common sense, right? Um, God doesn't want us to be, God wants us to be honest in our transactions because we represent him to the world. And God, who is truth, wants us to be truthful in all we say and do. This means that there should be no shameful deeds or underhanded methods in my job, in a business I own, my personal finances, my taxes, my personal life. There should be no shameful deeds in my relationships or on social media. Yeah, it means all those things. But I think this statement goes much further than that. Remember that Paul is speaking to the church in Corinth about spreading the gospel. So in that context, God is declaring that we should reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods in sharing the gospel. Hmm. I mean... Churches wouldn't ever resort to shameful deeds or underhanded methods in trying to gain converts, would they? Would they? But, but I mean, isn't that exactly what those who have watered down the gospel are doing? They try to make the good news more appealing by lowering the expectation enough that people really don't need to change, repent, or confess sin. Look, Jesus made it very clear that following him would be costly. But he also made it clear that it would be worth anything we might have to give up. So let us commit ourselves to reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. Let us commit ourselves to not trick anyone in responding to the gospel. Let us commit ourselves to not distort the word of God. Let us commit ourselves to present the good news of Jesus Christ truthfully, knowing that he will use his word, his good news, to produce a harvest of righteousness in those who believe. Pray with me. Lord, help us to be faithful and sharing the truth of your word, to presenting the gospel, the good news, as you've given it to us. It's already good news. We don't have to make it better news. We don't have to make it culturally relevant news. It's already good. So Lord, help us to share your good news faithfully. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.